Here in Durban, there's another steam railroad called the Durban Rocket. And uh, in fact, uh, coming back now, right now, I hear the diesel locomotive that they have bringing back their caboose castaways from a couple of nights camping down at the end of the line. Uh, so we're just going to drive around and do some exploring and hope it's interesting. Well, we already know a couple of places we're going to go today. We're going down to the county seat of Pocahontas County, Marlinton, where we're going to do some grocery shopping at the IGA store down there. And on the way, there's a place called Bartow, and it's a Civil War site. Yet another early, early Civil War, October, November 1861 Civil War site. And there's a historical district there. So we're going to stop there, either going or coming. and. Uh, then we're going to go past U, uh, Green Bank, the Green Bank Observatory. We're in the Green Bank Dark Territory here where there's no cell service, which is a, a unique experience in the 21st century. We're off and running. <laughs> See that? Even the uh, horn from the uh, diesel. We're off and running. As we drive out the campground road here, we're coming up to the main highway. You can see the storefronts. There's the station looking down the track. Bartow is a five minute drive east of Durban on US 250. The National Forest's Greenbrier District Ranger Station is on the left just past the sawmill. Camp Bartow Historical Site is right at the intersection with State Route 28 and 92. And if you're not paying attention, like us, you can blow right past it. This is the Camp Bartow Historic Site, the site of a Confederate encampment from the fall of 1861. We're along the Stanton to Parkersburg Turnpike, which was the only really good road, if you could call it good road. We just drove up this. This is labeled the Old Pike Road, so I'm assuming that this was the original turnpike between the Shenandoah Valley and the, basically the Ohio River at Parkersburg. This is Traveler's Repose, built by a Lancaster Countyan from Pennsylvania named Jaeger. And he was here until, from 1848 until 1861. This building was was built in 1869 to replace the original structure. It says here it was the first post office in Pocahontas County, 1814 to 1906. The first Civil War battle in Pocahontas County in October 3rd, 1861, the Battle of Greenbrier Bridge, which is not this bridge, but this bridge crosses the Greenbrier, the original bridge would have been in that vicinity. I guess the uh, Confederates were protecting the Exxon station from the Union incursions. <laughs> Here's a picture of the original building prior to the Oh, okay, this is, this is basically a picture of the 1866 rebuilding. 1866, I've seen 1869 on Wikipedia. Okay. But there were a number of, they had a, they had a fort with artillery positions and entrenchments up on the hill. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to that. I don't know how to get to that. We'll see if there's a trail. Hello, little one. Yep, she's gonna, she's a little bit standoffish. This is the Jaeger house. 
It's available for vacation rentals and it's guarded by a very, well, confused now. She was like meowing for attention, tuxedo kitty. Oh my. This is my chair, she says, or he says. Up there is a cemetery. Camp Bartow, up there on the hill. You can see the line there, kind of an entrenchment. Battle of the Greenbrier River in August of 1861. Soldiers under General Henry Jackson of Georgia erected Camp Bartow here. The disputed middle ground, they call it. That's a good way to describe it. That's a good piece of defensive ground. The entrenchments around the side and they had artillery positions and up there is the cemetery. Green Bank Observatory is about 15 miles south of Bartow, and the big radio telescope appears as you approach from the north. Can you see it? There it is. Now we drove past the gate to this place at least five times while we were in the area, but never seemed to be able to stop there during its open times for public tours. COVID restrictions would have kept us from going inside the visitor center anyway, but there is a self-guided driving tour of old space telescopes that we would have liked to do. It'll have to wait till next time. There is a great view of the current radio telescope from the road to Cass. I love the contrast of these hay fields and the high tech. On to Marlinton. Marlinton is a really small town. We stopped into the visitor center to get some advice and learned about the price house across the river. Then we headed across the street to get some lunch. Hello, here in Marlinton, West Virginia, county seat of Pocahontas County, downtown dining at the Alfredo's Greek and Italian takeout or dine in. I had chicken Alfredo and fettuccine, delicious. Debbie had the, the uh, gyro, delicious. COVID's forced them into the paper plates in their dining room, but uh, when COVID's back over and they can hire more staff and uh, the health problems are uh, alleviated, they'll be back to uh, regular uh, plates and bowls and silverware. But here in Marlinton, Alfredo's, highly recommended. Local Historical Museum, Marlinton. The other side of the Greenbrier River from the main part of town. Have a county locator map here. We're Marlinton is there, and we're camping up here in Durban. And we've come down 92 through Green Bank and Route 28 down through Huntersville over to Marlinton. Oh, Confederate Cemetery. There's a lot of Confederate cemeteries in West Virginia for a state that seceded from the Confederacy. Buried within this area are the bodies of a number of Confederate soldiers. They were members of General Loring's command and died of measles in the summer of 1861. Oh, look at that cabin. Well, let's walk down and see, look inside. Looks like the roof hasn't been maintained in a while. <laughs> Those strikes, wooden shingle strikes are turning into topsoil. There's the broom. Oh, it's, they've got some rot problems, some termite problems, some ant problems too. Yeah. This is probably what the Boone cabin looked like before the 
Somebody really took it, took it in the hand. The old piano. Tools and implements. Several are homemade. Hmm. Well, here's an ice saw. Look at that. And a hay saw. Interesting. There's the stairs up to the loft. The upstairs bedroom. Out in the backyard. No frontier cabin is complete without a riding mower. Here's a couple of smiling visages. The happy residents, probably. Maybe. Susanna Aldridge, born 1822.1881. Okay. Head on into the museum. We're in this, well, Debbie's getting the family history of the Price family, whose ancestral home this is. I'll be, I'll walk around here and do a little bit on the local industries. Lots of pictures as usual in one of these places. There's logging tools, chains, Here's a level over here for surveying property. Lots of compass, actually. This is a compass. Surveying equipment used by attorney Andrew Price. Uh, we came in the back of the house. The front of the house faces the river. Here's a beautiful, beautiful solarium. Gosh, look at this. Self-propelled wheelchair. <laughs> wow. There's the front of the house. Interesting. That was a worthwhile stop. Very, very knowledgeable and talkative lady who uh, runs the place for the Pocahontas County Historical Society. She did say that there's plenty of money in the county commission for uh, allocated for uh, repairs but COVID is holding things up just like everywhere else okay on to the IGA and shopping and back to the camps we saw this gorgeous little Chesapeake and Ohio station for, on the way in it's been converted for adaptively reused and restored beautifully repainted local art gallery unfortunately the uh, train order signal has uh, suffered some damage and it still has the little detached freight station I'm assuming that's what that is down here and here's an oldie caboose I'm not sure what railroad that is and that might be an old B&O or an old Chesapeake in Ohio actually probably an old Chesapeake in Ohio wooden steel under framed caboose there's the streets there's the street side down off the grade see the stairs coming down and you can back your mail trucks and your express trucks delivery trucks up to the baggage window with the baggage doors and load right into the trucks it's nice to see these buildings restored preserved and in use. Okay, on back to Durban with our groceries. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll look at some of our other ones. Goodbye.